sons and daughters of God, we are the remnant. We're here in the end times. We're here in the last days. This is it. We're going to pass over into another age. It's called the millennial age. For all you millennials out there, there'll be a lot of you stepping right into the next age. So, anyway, we're going to talk about something really, really important today. It's about, um, how, what should I call it? Well, the power of the air. That's what it's called. The power of the air. Now, air has a lot of power. And that's what the enemy uses against us. Now, there's good air. And there, there's bad air. Now, I'm not only talking about the air that you breathe, but what is going on around within the air. Now, of course, we all need oxygen. That's good air. To be able to breathe that is excellent. But the, the Philippians chapter 2 Verse 2 is very specific about the prince of the power of the air. Now it says, we're in in times past that you walked according to the course of this world. Well, we're all struggling not, not to walk in the course of this world world because it's it's important to us because we're we're pressing into God we're trying to grow in Christ because we know he wants us to, he want we want to be used by him um um you know in the future and even now and all the, we know that the best way in order to uh grow, um to be used by God is not to be a 30% Christian that's a lukewarm you know they of course they're going to you know make it to the king make it to paradise okay but we want to we want to there's a 60 fold there's 30 60 and 100 fold now we want to go above 60 fold we want to be a little bit better of course none of us are perfect but we want to press on to do as much as we can to get as perfect as we can and, but none of us are ever going to get there without the help of god we're, none of us are going to be perfect until we make it to heaven, but we still are, are trying to get there. So I want to give you guys a hint, uh, some um, some some clues on. Um, uh, it says according to the prince of the power of the air. Now, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. All right, the prince of the power of the air. The air um, is uh, like, for instance, television. See, we receive these things with our with our eyes and with our ears, and they affect the, they affect our emotions. Television, good. Uh, that's a good example because with the moment you flip on the TV switch and you sit down in front of it, you're watching. The air is coming out of the TV. You see, you can't see air, but with it, with there, what is going on inside of you know on the other end of the TV screen is coming out through the air. It's going into your eyes, my eyes. It's going into my ears and then it affects my heart my emotions and that's how the enemy works he works through what we see what we hear and what we feel how we feel that's the prince that's the power that's a that's a negative power the prince of the power of the air is not a good power um, it's it's the enemy and so he'll use this tool on on Christians and he uses on, on people in the world, but um, you know, on Christians, it's it's really dangerous. On on Christians, it's, if you don't know, you see, if you don't know about this, then you can't do anything about it. See, so particularly, you know, just guard your eyes, guard your ears, ears, guard your emotions through, you know, what goes inside of your eyes what goes inside of your ears how it makes you feel and that's one example here's more examples like watch some people watch the news it affects it goes in your eyes it goes in your ears you can hear it and it affects your emotions i had i just um realized that i was watching some news even though it was uh, on christian stations it was affecting my emotions in a negative way because the news is so bad today it's terrible news out there so I, what i did is i went on a fast i took a fast and i turned off all the internet all the t uh, anything to do with the air coming in and 
actually it helped me out a whole lot it cleared my my mind out cleared my emotions up a lot and um so i know the effect that it has on people you see but we are junkies to uh television we're junkies to the news we're going to turn it on every time we get a chance and there's also the radio if the air comes you see you're affected by what comes out of the radio the prince of the power of the air uses uh, sound the, the your ears you see and it goes to your emotions and what comes out of the the radio we got music you know we got news and I don't I don't listen to the radio I haven't listened to it for for years and years and years but you guys know <clears throat> whoever listens to the radio you guys know what I'm talking about whoever watches TV knows what I'm talking about see I, I select what I watch um, very carefully because I know what the power of it is now let's talk about um, music for a minute now the enemy will use music uh, specifically because it, it affects all of the emotions and you, a lot of people can see you know they only got music videos and you can you can hear the music and it affects you you see it's particularly you know some of the um, the music that they a lot of the music that they play today it uh, it's it's really bad to listen to I used to listen to it all so I you know I don't blame you for wanting to listen to it, it makes you feel good and it's <coughs> It's addictive and it's you know there's rap and there's country and there's you know pop music and stuff like that but you need to be very very careful of what you're allowing into your body with it into, through your ears into your emotions because it's some serious stuff to you for years for oh uh, for probably since the 50s uh, the early 60s they've been taking the mass the masters of uh, these, this music that they play on the radios and the music that you buy in the stores, um, CDs, and, and that you can, you can copy off of the internet. They take the master copy. That's the first copy. That's the first original copy. And you you won't believe what they do to this copy. They take it into uh, a, this place and do witchcraft on it with a bunch of witches, a whole bunch of witches and, and sacrifices and all this stuff to give the music power to affect the people that it actually listens to. And that's sick. But this is what they've been doing for, since about the, as far as I know back about the 50s to the early 60s, they've been doing this. And, um, <clears throat> and so can you imagine what they're doing to the music today? And when I used to listen to the, to, to the radio, they used to play the same songs over and over and over again. Well, those same songs, they, they, um, they have an effect on you you see they program you you see that's why they call like programs programs like TV programs um, radio programs because that's what it does it programs your your mind you see that's why when you change that's why they have three four hundred ch channels on um, TV and stuff like that they're channeling a program into your mind see they're channeling it into you so it, it, it has an effect on you after a, a, a while, you know, listening to the same song over and over and over again, it will have some sort of effect on each and every visible individual that listens to the same song over and over and over and because it programs you because of the, the messages behind that are inside of the music, more the messages that, that are in the background that you can't hear from the... Uh, from the spells that they they put on the music, they do this with video games. Um, they do this on with uh, what they call them, reality shows and stuff like that. You know, it's it's it's, get, it's pretty sick. It's pretty ruthless what they've what they've done. They do it from movies. You see, you have to be really really careful about what you're allowing into your eyes, what you're allowing into your ears, because and um, how your emotions see are affected. Because you get to the point where you can't control your emotions and that's bad you should be able to control your the way that you feel your emotions but if you're you're on an emotional roller coaster then you know when you're on a roller coaster you have no control and you want to be able to have control over your 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 feelings over your emotions it's okay to feel this way at a time at sometimes and sometimes it's not okay to feel a certain way at times So now the prince of the power of the air, we know he's 
he's he's ruling through the air. The, God is he's allowing this. He like God allows certain things to happen. Also, what's coming through the air is whatever those signals are that are coming off the, the cell towers. You know, the, all of this stuff goes through our bodies. You see, it goes through our heads. You see, it has an effect on it. I'm not going to get into deep about what's coming off of the cell towers. It's not important. It's not anything we can do about it anyway. I just want you to be aware of it. Another thing is the Internet. Be very, very careful about what you watch on the Internet. You see, especially um, people that watch pornography. Pornog uh, a lot of people don't know that pornography is seriously dangerous. Um, it, it, it comes forth as very, very innocent. And, um, you know, nobody's getting hurt or anything like that. But it, let me tell you, the witchcraft behind pornography will destroy your life. You see, your life could be going just fine until you start doing it, watching the pornography and taking taking part in it and making actions with the pornography. And then your life, then little things start happening in your life. You lose your job. You lose your relationship with your children. You lose your relationship with your, your wife. You lose, you know, your car starts breaking down, you know, or you know, you can't pay your rent and all this, all these things start happening just from something, just from pornography. And you would never guess. But there's a lot, a lot of spiritual uh, warfare going on with pornography and it is not good. I've seen pornography destroy a lot of people's lives, particularly mine when I used to um, watch it. You know, and I didn't I didn't know any better. You know, I had to learn this stuff um, way after the fact that my life was everything in my life was torn all apart and I had to start all over again. And it was just from the, what, looking at them pictures and those movies and stuff like that. And pornography is, is a highly addictive thing. And now not only men are involved in it, there's a lot of women that are involved in it also, too, that are watching it also, too. So just be real careful it, um, what you're what you're consuming in your, in your eyes and your ears, because, you know, the air what, what comes out of the air. You can't see it, but it will go inside of you and you will change. And you won't realize that you have that you are changing or have changed and things will start start happening. You'll start doing things and start things will start happening and are happening around you. And you won't know you won't know why. You you you'll be wondering why are these things happening to me. So pornography is really dangerous. And if you ever get the opportunity, you know, to get away from it, just turn the stuff off and run as far as you can. And ask the Lord to help you to you know, because he's there, he's there to help you. And once he knows that you have the desire to to quit and to stop, he'll he'll be there to help you. He's very merciful. He's very loving. He's very kind. And um, so he's got he's got a lot of angels that will help you also too. So so just be. I just want you guys to just to be real careful. Guard your eyes. Guard your ears. Guard your emotions. Don't be on an emotional roller coaster. You see, um, be careful what you're watching over the TV, including the news. You know, reality shows and stuff like that. They're not, especially if the language isn't good. If there's a lot of sexual content in it, you know, you, you want you want to try to stay away from those things because those things have an effect on on you after a while. Even some sometimes sometimes they'll have an effect on you just like that because there's triggers. Some of them sometimes things will trigger you. Like they used to have this movie called Breaking Bad, and it was about, um, I think it was a meth, some kind of blue meth or something like that. You know, if you were an ex-methamphetamine addict and you were to turn on this, this show and watch this show, it would make you want to go smoke it again. So, you know, tri it's a trigger. So uh, be careful about those things. And um, I turn my head a lot. There's nothing wrong. I look up. I look down. I look down. I look. I close my eyes a lot. To a lot of things because I don't want them to go inside of me. I don't want to be triggered because I've done a lot of things. I've been through a lot of stuff, you know, and uh, there's, I have a lot of triggers. So um, be careful of what you're listening to on the radio and the CDs. I've, I've thrown away hundreds of CDs that were just garbage because, um, you know, it's just not good music. You know, I, I'm very selected over the music that I listen to. You should be also, too. Um, Social media, be real careful with that, because that's going to. If social media really affects the emotions. You see, um, the internet. Be careful what you're watching on the internet. It's it, 
and, and clicking on, on on the internet because these things can be also be very good but they can be also very dangerous especially for someone who's really pressing into to, to god because the enemy will target you and you can do it through the air very easily so because they they know us <laughs> they, they know us well and they don't want to see us succeed so they're going to come after us you see movies you probably you know movies it's one of the best inter inter entertainments you might have to switch out and do and watch some good movies watch some good tv shows and it may be boring at first but it's a healthy way to do you want to be as you want to do this as as healthy as as you possibly can you see video games it's another thing right there <sighs> wow and then there's uh <sighs> there's the music again so guys philippians 2 2 where in this ties past you walked according to the course of this world according to the prince of the power of the air the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience so be very careful because the prince of the power of the air will have you walking in disobedience and sometimes you won't even realize it or even know it until after the fact or for even for a long long time so let's all wake up and let's just do the best that we can because God loves you very, very much. He's got a lot of patience with each and one of us. He's got a lot of love, a lot of kindness, a lot of mercy, just tremendous. He's very, very loving, very, very kind. You know, we can always go to him for anything and everything 24-7. God bless you guys forever and ever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Have a great day.